When you run a signal installation, it will give the option of including support for clamp experiments. This includes the clamp sampling support tab in the sampling configuration, along with the leak subtraction analysis and single channel idealized trace functions. The following guidelines assume a sampling configuration which uses ADC inputs 0 and 1 of the 1401 to record one stimulus and one response channel with a one second sweep length and a sample rate of 10 kHz. The control stimulus will be supplied by DAC output 0 on the 1401. The clamp tab includes eight clamp sets which can be used simultaneously. Each set allows you to specify which channels to use for recording the stimulus and response from the cell or patch, and which DAC output should be used to control the stimulus for the selected experiment type. When Signal has this information, it can automatically scale the data during sampling and perform further clamp-specific analysis, such as membrane resistance measurements. The resistance measurement state field can be used to nominate a particular state, in this case a set of pulse outputs, which will be used to monitor the membrane resistance online. In this example we are only going to specify a single set of outputs, so we'll leave this field set to zero. For voltage clamp experiments, the applied stimulus is voltage and the response is current, and vice versa for current clamp setups. The ADC inputs used to record the stimulus and response data must be set to use valid units in the Port Setup tab of the sampling configuration. Double click on a port in the list to open the parameters dialog. The units for a voltage channel must include the character V, and the units for a current channel must include the character A so that online measurements give correct values. Incorrect units will cause the channel and or control DAC settings to be displayed in red in the clamp tab. And Signal will generate an error message when ready to sample it. The control DAC output must also be set to match the units of the stimulus channel for the selected experiment type. The outputs tab of the sampling configuration holds settings for the DAC units and scaling. The stimulus pulses to output from the DAC are configured by selecting Pulses in the Type drop-down list and then clicking the Configure Pulses button. Output types generally used for clamp experiments are constant or varying amplitude or duration square pulses and square pulse trains. You can set step size, number of repeats for each step, and number of steps for varying amplitude pulses, and play through the sweeps to show the step change in the dialog. If more than one pulse is used for a given state, you can define the one to use for resistance measurements by setting the pulse ID to RM in the dialog. Following these steps, you should now be ready to sample. The sampling configuration is checked for the correct settings, including the correct units, for clamp experiments when a new data file is opened, and Signal will generate an error message to alert the user if any incompatibilities are found. I hope this tutorial has given you a basic introduction to setting up clamp sampling in Signal.